Take two, we're gonna do this quick because I just sat there and made half a video covering the microphone. My apologies. Um, quick rundown. Got a ticket a little while back, pulled over. I've been riding around with a dead inspection. Pennsylvania you need a renewed inspection every year to drive your vehicle on the road. Um, so, mine died in March. I don't need to discuss with everybody why I haven't gotten inspected. Uh, the point is, is it hadn't been inspected yet. So I get pulled over by the state trooper. He pulls me over. Uh, and he proceeded to try and cut me a break. Now, in doing so, Instead of a $160 fine, he told me he was going to write me a seatbelt ticket, which was a $97 fine. At that point, I looked at him and I said, really? And he says, yeah, man, I'm trying to cut you a break. I said, I understand in your mind you are trying to cut me a break. I said, but in this world where we hear nothing more than my body, my choice, and a woman can kill an unborn child in a womb, you're going to write me a ticket for a, a seatbelt? Oh, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I said, do you? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I said, all right. Well, I'm just making sure we're clear here. I said, because now that I have been pulled over and you have got me for these things, I want to have this dialogue. Let's have this conversation. I want to use this opportunity. Oh, I understand. I understand. Okay. Well, let's have this. I said, because I'm, I'm a constitutionalist. At least I perceive myself as a constitutionalist. But the victimless crimes thing really needs to stop. I said, I understand looking out for one another is very important. And I told him, I said, if, if I didn't feel this vehicle could be on the road, I wouldn't have it out here. I wouldn't be driving it. I understand, I understand. Well, long story short, I took the ticket, I pumped my gas, and I left. So I went up to the courthouse the next day to pay this $97 fine. Slid the ticket under the window. Boy, he asked me what my name was again. I said, well, Redbone Smith, of course. No. I gave her my name, and she shook her head, and she came back to the window, and she said, well, that's strange, but there's no, re there's no record of that ticket. I said, well, it was just wrote yesterday. Um... Maybe he ain't got around to it yet. She says, no, but she even stated that usually they submit them same day. And I had a lot of guys telling me, well, just wait for it, because guys like us don't get off like that. And I said, you're probably right, but let's just, let's just hold out. Let's see what happens. Because I even handed that specific straight trooper three constitutions. I gave him one for him. One for his buddy and one for his kids, if he had any. Well, I didn't get back up there to check if he submitted it. So I got a letter in the mail stating that now the fine was up to 116 days because I didn't reply within 10. And 116 dollars because I didn't reply within 10 days. So I figured, all right, I'll go up and take care of it this week. <laughs> so, 
I'm at the neighbor's shooting the spit, letting the pups play with the neighbor's pups. I got a constable shows up at the house. My neighbor noticed him before I did. They wrote a warrant out for me. He said, what do you want to do? I said, well, you just keep my dogs over here. I'll go talk to them. So, I wander over. I said, can I help you with something? Because they fishing around everywhere. Looking in my shed. Looking in my back windows. Looking everywhere around the house. Well, yeah, I'm looking for so-and-so. I said, well, I'd be him. What can I do for you? Well, he went ahead and stated what he was there for. Ticket. And everything else like that. And there was a, quite a few things that got said between me and this individual. Brought up the Constitution. He told me that he's got a criminal, I think, I believe it was criminal science degree and psychology and blah, 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 blah. So I said, well, I like talking about the Constitution. I said, how do you feel about victimless crimes? Well, he stated a lot of things in our conversation. I wish I'd had it on record, but I didn't. So, after it was all pretty much established, he tried to work with me, give me some avenues I could take to try and lessen the, the price and everything else like that. And no, I didn't go for the jugular on this one. But, uh, one thing I asked him, I said, I said, where do rights come from? Where do we get our rights? And he started off on some tangent that never really had a head and I was kind of giving him one of these looks. And he said, well, if you really want to know where rights come from, they come from God. It says in the Declaration, the Bill of Rights, he said, he said it comes in the Bill of Declaration of Independence that we're entitled to certain rights through our Creator. I said, we are endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights. He said, well, yeah, yeah, that's it. I said, well, make sure you're clear on that one. I said, so how does man get to dictate that? And he hemmed and hawed. And I asked him another question. I said, have you ever heard of the Constitutional Sheriffs and Peace Officers Association? He says, yes, I have. I said, are you a member? He says, no, I'm not. I said, can I ask why? He says, because I don't need to be on a F FBI watch list. And I started laughing. I said, what makes you think you ain't on one anyway? So, the conversation went on. He tried to get out of it a few times, so I could tell he was, he was trying to appease or placate me. But the point of the matter is, he knows where I stand now. And he's a local. Knows where I live, seen my face, heard me talk. Said he already had a constitution in his truck. Said he already has a Pennsylvania state constitution in his truck. So, this video is aimed at all of you who choose to write letters. <laughs> write your letters. They ain't gonna listen to them. Because even, even when you're sitting there talking to these people straight-faced in the face, they're only gonna listen to you in so far. That's a constable, for God's sakes. I'm going to pay this fine. Because I've got a few more things to accomplish. 
I will pay the money to buy some time. And I invited him back. I told him to stop in. Sounds like you and me need to bullshit some more. He laughed. So I don't necessarily see him showing up again. So to all of you who feel that letters are where it's at, emails, writing your local congressman, it's time for you to grow a set. Get off the pot. Because he even stated that certain organizations are on a federal watch list that he's not willing to go on. And he's a constable. One of the constitutionally based fucking law enforcement organizations in the country. Is he hiding? I don't know. Well, I'm not going to judge his standpoint. But I can tell you right now, you don't know me from Adam and I still told him exactly what I thought. I didn't go as far as I could have. But, um, anything could have happened tonight. Don't be scared. Grow backbone, says Redbone. Make your spine straight and your resolve indefinite. Because this shit is only going to get uglier before it gets better. So, I'm done rambling. This has been a long enough fucking video. I'm going to drink another beer and then I'm going to bed. God bless y'all. Be good, be safe. And uh, don't take no shit. See ya.